Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 the gunless playthrough where we're still trying to complete this game without using any sort of gun with uh, Bayou Bob of course the handsome fellow you see right there on screen. Um, today we're gonna do something uh, well not different but we're gonna continue on with the main quest. We finished the Brotherhood of Steel questline for now uh, in the previous episode, so that means we can uh, proceed with the main quest a bit further as well, because we're, uh, I'm kind of working towards power armor, but for that we need to uh, further the main quest a bit first. So let's go, uh, so we're still, we're back in Diamond City by the way, we're gonna go talk to Nick Valentine and see where he'll lead us in the quest for Kellogg, a fancy lad named Kellogg, because he, uh, he might be the guy who abducted Sean at the beginning of the game. So for that, we just need to follow Nick Valentine. Because uh, Kellogg kind of lived in Diamond City for a while. So he still has a property right here. And uh, that's exactly the place that we're going to check out. And uh, yeah, maybe there's a few nice things of loot over there as well. Oh, didn't think Nick would gonna, was going to fit under there. But uh, he's, he's all right with that. He's all right with that. So I think it's that house over there. Uh, so yeah, so there we go, Kellogg's house, which is now master locked, but... Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Nick Valentine is a master in lock picking, which is why he'll open this thing in a jiff. We need to, we need to take a look out. Something to hide, Kellogg? Yeah, he might have something to hide. Uh, why would I... I don't think I can pick this. Yeah, it's too difficult for me, dude. Wait, what? No luck. Need to find the key. Ooh. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Okay. I, I'm not sure if I ever did it like that. Get the key to Kellogg's house. Okay, so we still have the charisma gear on, so this might be just doable. And we've been in the mayor's uh, office before, but we uh, never got to see the mayor again, so uh, let's go there. I do still like the idea of Diamond City. I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool idea to just turn a baseball stadium into a kind of a, a smaller town. Because, yeah, of course, we're inside the city of Boston, so uh, this is definitely not a city as they want to make it out to be Diamond City. Oh. He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office? Well, huh? drama, apparently. Um, you first? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. Ooh, interesting. A boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. I do love her animation and, and, and all of that, because she's one of the better animated characters. And I do like Piper. Um, does she... wait. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? As long as they aren't members of the press. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Okay then. Thanks. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Oh, I, I, I got it, but no, no funny business. Let's go talk to the man, because I think, yeah, he's ah, right here in his yes. bedroom for some I reason. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Kellogg's house. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well... Whatever reason you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. Wait, but you... I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. You foreclosed the property, so... What? 
Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, oh that actually worked. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. That was great. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's Bingo! I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Well, that was a bit easier than I anticipated this being. So, yeah, we got the key already. Thank you, Mayor McDonough. And good, thank God for the charisma gear, because that was probably helping out a lot. So let's head back to Nick. I do love how you can sometimes influence this game to take a bit of a shortcut. Not that it's as much as in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, but... Hey, I, it's still appreciated. Oh, this looks cool. All right, let's head in. You do the honors. I will. There we go. Heading in. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Okay. Um, I do have no, of course, because I've played this already, what I need to look for. But I do want to ransack this place a bit. Especially if he has booze. There we go, so Nick already hinting at there's a, at the fact that there's a hidden area in this uh, house because it's it's kind of too small for what it looks like on the outside. So uh, I'm just going to take everything here because there is a button be, uh, underneath the desk. I think Nick just hints at it a bit too quickly because he doesn't really give you the time for, to look for it. But uh, there we go. Indeed, that's one way to hide a room. Just gonna quickly nip upstairs because there might be. Yep, there we go. Duct tape and two corns. So all of a Merc's favorite things right here in this little side area because there's a lot of loot in here, especially the two Nuka Cola Quantums. I'm definitely gonna Nick. take. No, no, no. All of Kellogg's favorite. Yeah, yeah, Nick. Nick, can I get the? No, I can't get that for now, but. Uh... There's a chair, there's cigarettes, um, San Francisco Sunlights. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars, San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Hmm. Uh, we could use dog meat. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, I think I will, because I want to try a few things in this uh, particular encounter, which I wouldn't be able to do with a companion. So, um, goodbye, Nick. That's, that's a bit. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Well, thank you, Nick. He doesn't seem too mad about it. Anytime you need help. Just come knocking. I will. Thank you, Nick. So he's uh, now available to be your companion, which is fine. But I'm going to take uh, the Nuka-Cola Quantum. And is that purified water? Yes, it is. A lot of purified water. There we go. Uh, and a pulse grenade, which might be handy in the near future. A bit of rounds that I can sell. Nuka Cherry, Mantats. And more Nuka Cherry. Okay. I think I've uh, ransacked most of the place. Uh, let's head back outside. And wouldn't you know it, we head back outside of uh, Kellogg's house and dog meat is already here. So let's give him, uh, give him the cigar. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. And uh, let's find Sean. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. So we're going to do this a bit differently because, of course, I know where this is going to end up. So I'm going to try and head a bit more directly there. So dog meat is still going to be with us. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a bit of a shorter route to get there. So that starts reunions and we just need to follow dog meat. But uh, yeah, see you guys in a second. Because, of course, we're heading towards Fort Hagen, which should be around there somewhere in the hills. You can see the satellite dish over there already. Um, cause uh, yeah, we're back at ArcJet Systems, the area we cleared out with Dons the first time around where we started the Brotherhood of Steel quest. Oh god, that's not something I anticipated. Um, there's super mutants all- whoa, okay. The hound is almost dead. I can't get to the super mutant just yet, so let's just whack the hound. There we go. And the super mutant is gonna go down pretty quickly as well. There we go. 
Where the hell did these guys come from? He did get a hit in though. Wow, I actually heard it a bit. Hurt a bit, heard it. Jesus Christ, can't talk anymore. There we go, a bit of a grilled rad roach. I don't know, yeah, there's an eyeball over there. We don't really need that. But that is, oh, yeah, for the quest at uh, Cambridge Polymer Labs. There we go, map updated. That's uh, also a very nice quest, but uh, I don't think it's actually marked. It's just marked on your map, and I don't think the quest itself is uh, a problem. Oh, well, this explains why they were so low on health. There's sting wings over here. That is um, painful. Yeah, I'm glad they uh, cleared that out for me, because sting wings really, really hurt. They're uh, probably the most aggressive uh, insects out there. Well, aside from the... If you count scorpions as an insect. So we need to head over there. So we're gonna move slowly in that direction. Okay. We're coming up on a bridge and there's a settler just sitting here. Hello? Sir? How are you? Please. I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? Well, I... I can, yeah. Of course. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Does, does that give me anything else? Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Gl glad I could help. Um, that was weird. I never, never encountered somebody like that before. Um, bobby pin and a chef hat. Oh my god. How does that look? How does that look? It's luck plus one. Um, and I'm actually not wearing my armor at the moment. But. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, I'm gonna keep that on my hat for now. <laughs> that is awesome. But yeah, the sea captain's hat is actually a lot better, so I'm just gonna, yeah, just gonna keep going with that. So two endurance is uh, way better than what we have with the just one luck. It's not gonna weigh up against two endurance. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, there's a few areas down there, but I think we need to just slowly make our way up the mountain. So I think we're already pretty close to where we need to be. This is... Ooh, what's this? What is this? I think Fort Hagen is still further up, but what is this area? Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. I don't think I ever... So there's ghouls over here. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a problem. Oop. Ah, come on, keep going. I'm actually got him on the ground there. A glowing one, seriously. Do I? How many hits do I have left? Oh God! Okay, another one. There we go. Oh God! We got a bit of defense there. Holy crap! The reds are ticking up. Okay, healing up. Which on this difficulty is uh, over time. Which I definitely don't want to want to waste but there's a nice steamer trunk over here Ooh, ooh, three grenades the weapons are crap but the grenades are really really handy and there's a, a chemistry station in here just gonna have to check outside if there's nothing else over here because uh i don't want to risk getting mauled again by uh, another set of ghouls so that was a, i think we just met the most powerful creature in this uh this trailer park the first time around you dead oh god I thought he was dead because he didn't react to me, but... Oh god. That was a legendary. Just just sitting here. Okay, those guys just... Oh, it's a laser pistol. Oh, oh, kind of clicked that away. What else? Oh, there's a pair of legs sticking out of the floor. Oh god. There we go. Smack in the face and there's another one. And the rumor, I can't hit the rumor now. Ah, fuck me. Um, yeah, okay. Is he hitting? You need to hit him with the baseball bat, dude. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Why is he hitting him with his hand and not the baseball bat? Oh, I'm crippled. I'm crippled. That's why. Do I even do the same amount of damage then? So there we go. The big difference with this difficulty is also if I use a stem pack, I don't immediately heal my limb. 
which is uh, a bit weird. Usually if you do it, you get, ooh, baseball. You get uh, your limb healed immediately as well, but wow. Those ghouls came out of nowhere and the legendary just gave me the enraged agitated laser pistol. So critical hits cause targets to frenzy, which is really, really handy sometimes. But uh, yeah, yeah, we, we don't use guns. And now I'm gonna check out this peculiar pair of legs. It's a reaver, but apparently the reaver died already. Okay. This place is littered with mines. Crap. Yeah. We're back at our chat systems. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. You know what, now that I know that there's absolutely nothing in the trailer park, I'm gonna just give it a, a white berth and go around the outside towards uh, Fort Hagen. I wonder, can I actually throw a Molotov through that window? It looks like I can actually. There we go. It hit something. That's gonna wake up a few of them. Oh God. There goes uh, a hit on the glowing one, and then if he pulls out, as much as I can, and critical hit, no, critical hit, come on, took his, his, his arm off, and there goes his other arm, oh god, no, 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 so where are they, clustered up, Ooh, okay, that was really good. And the legendary is there as well. So that's the legendary. Probably should do a bit more of that. Yeah, let's just do it. There. Ooh, one hit. Then the roamer. Then another normal pool. And that seems to be it. I think I crippled the glowing one to such an extent that he's unable to do anything anymore. So I'm just gonna check this out. Does the legendary have something else now? Assassin's board. So that's my first legendary um, legendary melee weapon, but it's uh, not that good. There's 50% more damage against humans. So if I can upgrade that a bit, maybe it's gonna do more, but for now, I think it's a lot worse than I have. Well, well, we'll take it with us and we'll see what we can do with it. Ooh, wonder glue. So where's the glowing one? Because it because I don't think I killed the glowing one. He's probably out here somewhere. Walking around without, without hands. Oh! What the? What the fuck? Ah. There's a glowing one. And the eyeball was firing at it. That scared the shit out of me. There we go. Took a bit of uh, rad damage there. But at least now I can get the uh, stuff in the trunk. Because that's what I wanted to go for. Oh, another one in the floor. There we go, let's go, let's go inside and avoid the rest of the area, because yeah, I don't want to get blown up again. There we go, the grenades, I didn't want to lose those. So first up, we still have a level up I haven't gotten yet. Um, we're actually pretty close to the next level as well, so uh, let's see, what can we do with our perks? Could go for Lone Wanderer too, but I think we, we need to get to uh, science as fast as possible, so another point into intelligence might not hurt either. Uh, no demolition experts and no melee damage. So, yeah, let's just go with another point into intelligence. There we go. And now that we know where those mines are, I'm actually gonna grab them because uh, you're not you're not dead, are you? There we go. Because we got the legendary immediately, but the mines are over there uh, across the board. So that's a Roman that's still alive. Probably gonna one hit him here. Uh, anything else? There's a roamer inside, but apparently a friendly roamer because he's green. But, mines. Yeah, there were two indeed. There we go, and I see another one over there. So, I don't know why this place is so heavily guarded. So there's another frag mine over there. And then what's, a, what's this place all about? Oh, it's master locked. Okay, this turns this trailer park into an interesting spot all of a sudden, because maybe I can find the key. I want to take out the roamer inside, hopefully there's no mines inside, because otherwise I've just triggered them. I hear stuff waking up. There's another roamer, one hit should be enough. If I'm still in sneak, I heard another one waking up. 
There he is. Goodbye. And then the Savant kicked in. There we go. There's another terminal in here. Maybe we can find out something more. Leasing office terminal. There we go. That was really quickly. Safe control. Disengage lock. Okay. Now the question is, where is the safe? Ah, <laughs> there it is. Ooh, Fiddler's Green Trailer Key. There we go. Because usually a master lock, you can find the key around the... Yeah, the thing you need to unlock somewhere, so... Now I'm really curious. I never checked out this trailer park before, so... What's inside of that place? Maybe I should quick save before I do this, because there might be a lot more explosives inside. There we go. Opening up. Ooh. Oh. That looks like a very good helmet. Um, Because, yeah. I might actually take that with me. And cryogenic grenade. Don't mind if I do. So T-51 torso helmet and right arm with a fusion core. That is interesting. Don't mind if I do indeed. That's a pretty good uh, bit of power armor there. There's a few pieces missing. That can do with that. So I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to take... So it's missing both the legs and the left arm. Which is fine for me. I have plenty of fusion cores. Actually, I'm carrying 20 fusion cores. Maybe I'm just going to take this thing to um, to Sanctuary. And then we'll head uh, further to Fort Hagen. And we actually started far from home. So that's, I think, is Far Harbor. Uh, let's just get out. There we go. So this is T-51. Just T-51 armor. And this is T-45 armor. So I think... Well, this is a bit better. Because, yeah, interesting. So we might actually uh, combine a few of those items to see which one is better. But for now, we're just going to leave it here. Uh, maybe I should actually take the fusion core out of it. I'm going to store most of the fusion cores in this. Ooh, yeah, I did store armor in here. So maybe, maybe something else. There we go, foot locker. I'm gonna just put all the fusion cores in there, or most of them at least. Because fusion cores are, oh, wait. Since when don't fusion cores weigh anything? Well, if they don't weigh anything, why am I even storing them even? Okay, I'm not storing them then. I thought, wait, why do those not weigh anything lately? Did they change that? So I could get the assassin's board up to bladed, but I mean, it's still 69 with 50% extra, that's only 105 just for humans. And I think my Rockville Slugger does 92 base and it's also slow, but it has last action point. So yeah, I don't really see the need for the Assassin's board for now. And we leveled up from crafting as well, so that is uh, very nice indeed. So I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go for Lone Wanderer 2 now. There we go, so 30% less damage and increases carry weight by 100. There we go. So indeed we can see that immediately because now we have 415 carry weight. So even since we're, uh, we have dog meat following us, it's not the, doesn't count as a companion in this quest. So uh, let's head back to the trailer park. So I think we cleared out the trailer park pretty nicely. So let's head back up the mountain towards Fort Hagen. So it's also dark right now and the weather isn't looking all that good, but uh, so I need to be careful that I don't trigger anything by accident here. There's a guard post in front, but uh, you kind of saw the building over there already. Vodka. Don't mind if I do. So I think I'm kind of off base here because this is, is this Fort Hagen? It kind of looks like Fort Hagen and it has the turrets on top of it. Is this it? I think it is. Yeah, there we go, Fort Hagen. So this is where we need to get into for the quest. So the front door is blocked off, so we need to find another way in. There's also a lot of turrets on top, so kind of giving away that this is not just an abandoned building. But uh, let's find another way inside. Ooh, there's just a, a bottle cap mine over here. Don't mind if I do. Aha, wait, so this is, yeah, this is the area I was looking for. The underground parking lot, there's a machine gun turret looking at me. 
Just want to be careful to not trigger any traps or explosives of some kind. Exit. Fort Hagen open. There we go. So there we go. We are inside and dog meat automatically teleports uh, in here because this means if we enter Fort Hagen, we have followed dog meat even though we haven't. I'm going to command him to stay. Um, no. There we go. Just stay. So don't follow me. Because there's a lot of enemies in this place. Um, and a lot of uh, well enemies we haven't seen before. I'm not going to spoil anything just yet. But that's only going to take a second. Bit of loot in the toolbox. But you can hear the rumbling of turrets already. And I'm going to have to be a bit careful here. Um, okay. I think I can actually use this Protectron to my advantage. Ooh, it's a Protectron Watcher. That should do a bit of damage. So I'm just going to let him go over there. We'll see how well he does. And there we go. Since this place is full of synths. I'm going to take out the machine gun turrets while I'm at it. Because I don't want to have them running around. Well, they're not going to run around, but you know what I mean. So the sense now know I'm here as well, so I think actually the Protectron is doing alright. He just killed one. He's doing a nice job, my little Protectron there. Oh god, somebody saw me. Oh god, a, leg a legendary. There's the first one going down. And then a critical strike on the legendary. And lost his arm. There we go. I think that's pretty much okay. Ooh, oh no, he dropped down. He fell in the hole. I think I saw a sentinel gear. I think I saw a sentinel. Ooh, wait, what was that? There we go. Sentinel's metal left leg. Reduces damage while standing and not moving by 15%. That's actually really, really good. I have pocketed studded leather left leg on my left leg, but... It's not that big of a difference, but the 15% is will make a big difference. So let's equip that. That's a, a nice bit of uh, legendary gear there. I think my the Protectron must have died. Because I don't hear firing anymore. Uh, there's another turret over there, I think. Or is it now just a, a skeleton? No, I understand. I'm You're hiding because I fear death. Yeah, 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 that's... Pretty much all right. Don't know why I moved in front of it instead of from behind, because I came from over there. Don't know why that's, uh, that was a sudden change of direction there. Another ammo box. So the reason I didn't take the uh, power armor into this area, although there are of course powerful enemies in here, is because of course in this enclosed area I have the benefit of stealth. If I can kill pretty much everything around here uh, without it seeing me, especially with the Protectron helping me out, that's uh, a nice bonus, and I can't really sneak effectively in power armor for now. So let's go back down and see what we can do. So I think there's a lot of dead sense, which is really good, because that's not because of me, but because of the Protectron doing its work. But I know there's at least two more sense around here somewhere. Because they must have killed the uh, Protectron. Oh! There's a attention trigger on the explosives box. I think the explosives box was gonna go boom. Ooh, four fragmentation grenades. There we go. Thank you very much. That's gonna come in handy. Uh, but yeah, the protector on the watcher really did a number on those sins. He killed almost every single one of them down. So he's still alive, even. And on half health. Well. Because, yeah, a Watcher is a, a much higher level. It's comparable to a Synth Strider, I think, or even a Leader. But uh, I think he hasn't been in here yet. Which might explain... So that's the Legendary, right? Yeah. So that's the hole he dropped down in. After I whacked him with a big stick. Stocking up on ammo because of uh, a few saves that are dotted around this area. But uh, yeah, this used to be a military compound, so that, that makes sense. But I do need to be careful, because... Where are those other synths? Or are they actually all dead? Because I keep finding corpses. The Watcher cleared out the entire lower floor. 
which is yeah I'm, I'm not mad about that or anything that's just oh holy crap okay my life flashed before my eyes there because i don't think i saved oh wait i do hear wait there's a turret over there still i hope the watcher doesn't mind me killing all the security measures no and then there's this back area, which I'm... Oh, there's a synth. There's a synth. I knew there was at least one more synth left. Okay. He did uh, a cartwheel there. Ooh. He had a lot of stuff on him. Oh. Yeah, there's the, there's the leader. Just gonna move around a bit. Just gonna move around a bit. I can't hit it from there. Ow! Oh. There we go. Let's just batter him to oblivion. And maybe even use critical. He lost his weapon, though. Oh, goodbye, arm. Oh, God. There's still something over there. And was that... Is that a synth or... Wait. Okay. Ooh. Synth armor. Mind if I do? I'll check that out in a second. But uh, first, we have a bigger problem, I think. I think that's a turret. Yeah, it is. It's a laser turret. If I can avoid detection... It's kind of following me, but I think, yeah, there's a mine over there. But I think I can use the terminal. It's advanced locked shit. Um, I can't hit that from here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, can I hit that thing? Nope. I must be able to hit it. There we go. Okay. That was uh, kind of lucky. It was so low to the to the ground, and I think that just loops us around that chain door. Yeah. Okay. And I actually wasn't looking at mines anymore, but there might still be a few of them in here. But the trunk. That's a lot of nice things, and not even a single gun, which is really good for me, because that means they are replaced with explosives in the loot. So let's eat up a bit, and all that leads us back here, which is uh, the elevator leading down, which is exactly what we need. I think, yeah, we need to call the elevator. And yeah, if I could access that terminal, we could have opened this area with a lot more uh, ammo and stuff in there. But uh, yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't really. So let's head into the elevator and go down. So down underneath Fort Hagen, there's uh, still gonna be a lot more uh, synths around here. And we're in a hallway, which means, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, equip some grenades. We have a pulse grenade actually, although I don't think they count as robots. They're something in between there. Ooh, there's another turret over there as well. Can I actually... If I do that, just move over here. So that loops us back. Or wait, what? Oh, that opens up the door, and we're at the 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 entrance again. Oh god! Yeah, there goes the third at least, which is good. Oh god! Can he walk through the? Yeah, he activated the trap. Go back. I mean, now goodbye. I think there's another one hiding in the back there. And I really need to get through this hallway to get to him. So, uh, yeah, the trap is running out. Stealth capabilities. Fascinating. Indeed. Hello, goodbye. Oh, yeah, we're going uh, with psychic blasts. There we go. Because the door apparently blocked that. We need to be careful that there aren't any more sensor traps around here. I did blow up the, the extinguisher, which is interesting. Shock baton. Didn't really need that. I was supposing he had an institute pistol on himself. Okay, so there's oil on the floor here. So if I don't fire off any weapons, I should be fine. Which in my case is pretty easy, unless I of course trigger something else. So let's go even deeper down below yeah, the fort. Old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. 
So that was Kellogg, so he knows we're here, which means he has uh, all sorts of surveillance around this place. And it also means that we're on the right track, because of course we wanted to find uh, Kellogg. And that security gate wasn't really secure, was it? Aside from the trap on the door. So he did call us the frozen TV diner, so he actually knows who we are even. Um, which is uh, interesting. Because he knows why we're here as well. The frozen TV diner. And this keeps going down. We need to be careful about traps though. Because he... Uh, Kellogg has set quite a few down. Especially that flipping turret right there. There we go. Before he got a shot off. Just looking for tension triggers. I don't see any. And let's just stand back either way. Okay. Seems uh, pretty straightforward. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. But I don't need a roommate. Leave. Leave. So he does sound kind of friendly. He's not that angry at us. But the Fort Hagen Command Center, which is, uh, of course, down below the military complex to be uh, away from uh, outside signals. But, uh, yeah, it's also where uh, Mr. Kellogg has made his home. So let's get a bit further on, because this place is bound to be Never full of sins. Gave you 50 50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Movement detected, curious. Movement detected indeed, dear Sint. So let's just hide behind the pillar, go into third person, and see how far this guy is willing to go. He's coming closer. Just. Yeah. Just equipped with a shock baton, so that's not really that bad. I saw a few of them moving. There we go. So I think I knocked off something, but they're still uh, blindly firing in my direction. Do I have uh, a hit in? They're getting closer. Kind of looking like Terminators right now. Yep, because the grenade, they're pretty much dead. There we go. Let's go back into first person. Yeah, so a strider, and I think the other one was a normal one. I don't know where he went. Ah, oh, there he is. Kind of made him uh, part of the wall there. Okay, so... We have an exit door, which I think only opens up when we're uh, getting out of here eventually. Uh, I'm just gonna double check, but yeah, this isn't openable, so let's just head further in. Keeping an eye out for traps. You're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Well, it might, we don't know before we try, do we? So this is kind of the residential, well, not really residential, so the, the sleeping quarters of the, the military personnel that was here. Another three fusion cores, I really need to start using, uh using power armor because they're just handing out fusion cores left and right here. So before we go any further, I want to check out the synth gear that we found on the leader before. So the synth right arm is really, really good. We can't do anything with the chest piece and the left leg we have the sentinel on. So yeah, we're pretty much okay there. Because uh, the sentinel is 15% damage reduction, which means that we... Uh, we, well, we only take 15% less damage when we're standing still. And when we're actually attacking a melee, we're actually standing still, which is really, really good for us. And the big difference with armor is that armor gives you damage um, uh, resistance, I think it's called. Or there's a difference between the armor rating and, of course, the percentage you're getting. What the f... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. I can actually hit it from here, which is fine by me. Let's just do a critical. There we go. I don't know how I did that because I'm... Why am I in the toilet? What? Wait, what? I don't even know where I... Oh, wait. I just teleported inside of the... The bathroom there. That was weird. That killed the turret, though. So... A oh, flip. Okay, never mind. I can still hit that thing. Uh, Vats is giving me wrong information, though, because it says I'm going to be easily killing it while I'm not. Hi. There we go. And there we go. Idiot Savant. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Took a bit of damage, but... You can see that the 15% is really doing its job. Um, 
Well, you can't hit me, but I can't hit you, so I don't know it's fair. If this is fair, but yeah, you just die through a door. A bit of a roasted mire lurk. Let's just give it all the hits in the world. One. Okay, so that one... That is weird sometimes how that works. The first hit was like 20% of its health gone. And then after that it just went in one uh, one hit. That was a bit weird. Ooh. I don't mind if I do. Another fusion core. Thank you very much. And that's an oil canister. Yeah. Really nice bits of uh, crafting. Because I can use all the oil I can get. Um, makeshift battery is really heavy and only gives us acids. We need to be careful about traps. Sometimes really feels like we're just killing lots of uh, Nick Valentines, but yeah, poor sins. They never signed up for this. They were just created. Okay, so there's a skeleton hanging out of the window there. Is this... Ooh, yeah, drugs, drugs. Lots of drugs. So obviously, obviously a military complex has a meta bay with lots of good medical supplies. Which is really, really nice. And then this area, the cafeteria, is actually a really, really interesting bit. Because, um, you know what? I know what's going to happen. So there's a bubble hat in the back here. But I know we get ambushed afterwards. So, a fragmentation mine. And another fragmentation mine. There we go. That should be enough. So let's head to the back of the building now safely. And just get the... Energy weapons bubble head. Really useless for us, of course. Permanently gain 25% critical damage with energy weapons, but otherwise really, really handy. So now... No, nothing yet. Maybe I need to head further in. I think that might be the case, because there's uh, another bit of loot. Yeah, there's an explosive box. Yeah, there we go. There they are. Wait, why, why are they not exploding? Wait, what? Hey, dudes. So they must be spawning right after the mines then and they really spawn inside of this area oh yeah it's an auto pistol so uh don't mind if i hit you in the face he tried to punch me yeah he did he punched me in the dick you dick there we go just dropped a bunch of guns that was that was a, a nice a nice uh, sight actually so with that done let's just get our two frag mines back because that was Ridiculous that that didn't trigger. Because it must have walked right through. I think this is the way to go, so we need to head down here for a second as well. Because there's another Nuka Cola Quantum over here. And the Fort Hagen Armory password. Oh. That is interesting. We might head back up then with that, because that's the password for the terminal upstairs, I think. Or is it the one over here? Let's let's give it a look. So there's a terminal over here. Yeah, this is expert, so it's not that one. It's probably the one upstairs. So we're gonna do that later on. Hello. Oh, what the hell? I just I just got back to oh fuck. This is not good. That's one. That's two. And that's one. And then critical. Oh, he lost his weapon. Am I What the No? Let's just do it this way then. That's a Sin Seeker! Holy crap! I'm glad he's not uh, legendary and he lost his weapon right away, because that would have been uh, horrible otherwise. Sin Chest Piece. Ooh, Sin Field Helmet. Might take that. And I'm looking for something... Wait, what is the... I have one thing that I have a leather... Yeah, right leg. So I think I just got a Sin right leg, right? Yeah, that's a lot better. And I'm gonna actually drop the leather right leg then as well. Lightweight laminated synth left arm. But the left arm is my champion left arm. Yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of that. That was weird. So I just went back to the... Because this is the cafeteria. So I just went back here and I got ambushed by two synths again. So let's move further. It must have come out of this hallway. I must have triggered it by just guys, heading so inside. It's admirable. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Okay, so there's a, a very tough fight incoming, which I have a plan for, but um, yeah, this might be a bit a bit annoying. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have to. Not a lot of people can say that. So yeah, he wants us to leave, obviously, but um, 
I am not go. I, I just teleported in another room again, didn't I? But US covert operation manual, so permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Um, which is good, of course. And then vodka? Yeah, vodka. There we go. Always nice to have that. So the Fort Hagen armory password, we can use that right here and access this terminal. So that's this one. Yeah, that's weird. So maybe it opens up the one upstairs as well. I'm not exactly sure, but this is this is the armory, right? Because I think there's actually a fat man in here as well. So stim pack and purified water, lots of bobby pins, rad axe, stim packs, which is already nice. But of course, there's two more locked doors in here. There we go, the armory proper, which has a lot of uh, rounds, automatic laser pistols, a lot of weapons and, and uh, ammo, of course. Then there's a mini nuke, and the fat man is right here if you missed it. Um, and actually really, really powerful uh, 10 millimeter pistol if you haven't have one, uh, wouldn't have one yet as well. But I think that's pretty much it for this room. So not really useful for us, of course, since we're uh, we're not using guns, but still a very nice uh, nice bit of loot if you're uh, looking for guns. But we've waited enough, I think. Let's uh, move forward because we're almost at uh, Kellogg's place. I think there's actually even a bed if you're uh, playing survival. Uh, there's a bed in here so you can save before the fight. Because yeah, it's uh, it can be a pretty tough fight if you're not prepared for it. And a bit more medical supplies over here. So, luckily we found a bottle cap mine right before this, because we're gonna definitely be using that. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Let's talk indeed, because this is, this is really, really interesting. So he opened up the door himself, because he wants to have a little chat with us before we uh, take him home. So the other interesting thing about this area is there's a lot of furniture here that we haven't seen before because this is actually from the institute set so the cupboard the chair the table and the bed are all institute uh, designed uh furniture which indicates that uh well the sins already did it as well but that Kellogg is actually in league with the institute which is gonna factor in a bit more in a second as well so I don't think we need to be uh, holding this off any longer. Let's head forward and uh, have a little chat with um, Kellogg. You know what? I'm going to quick save right here. Might just be handy. Uh, there we go. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. I thought I had that honor. I love how they don't actually acknowledge that I just threw... A, a flipping bottle cap mine right behind him. That's kind of my plan at the moment. So I'm just gonna just gonna walk away a bit because we can't do that during conversations. Grab fragmentation mines and just uh, toss, toss them. Oh crap! That was that was a bad positioning. Let's just throw a few behind uh, this scent here. That's a normal scent, so don't really need to overdo that too much. Because he's gonna he's gonna back up once we stop talking. Um, and I think, yeah, there's another synth behind me. Let's just, just add, add to the pile. I mean, he's, he's a, he's a pretty tough dude, as you'll see in a second. But let's chat, let's chat, yeah. Um, maybe I should actually get my charisma gear? No, no, it's not gonna be worth it. Um, give me my son, you son of a bitch. Kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean! Now! Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son, Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. Yeah, because Nick Valentine already said that uh, Sean was about 10 years old right now. Happened, pal. Your boy's not here. Um, oh, okay. Tell me where he is, then. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved place he calls home the institute dun, dun, dun. here the institute i'll find my son no matter where he is <laughs> that's the spirit you know you surprise me i have to admit i find myself actually kind of liking you I well i'm glad you like me to fatherhood even if it is ultimately useless but I think we've been talking long enough. There we go. 
We both know how this has to end. So. I really need to back up right now. Um, yeah, you I'm ready. You know I am, Kellogg. There we go. Oh, I think, yeah, there we go. There goes Kellogg. So I'm going to focus on the synth behind me. And then I'm going to retreat into this room because I don't know who's alive. I think that sounds like Kellogg himself. Is that Kellogg himself? Because I know Kellogg can actually make himself invisible as well. Yeah, there he is. So I can't target him right now. I don't think he can hit me from over there. I don't know how much health he still has left. Because he is kind of tough. Oh crap, yeah, he activated the Nordic Style Boy. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. I think he kind of lost his head. Kill Kellogg. And now for the uh, interesting part, he has a cybernetic brain augmenter. But Kellogg's terminal password, the cybernetic brain augmenter. Kellogg's pistol, which is actually really, really good because it refills your action points on a critical hit. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be uh, using that, of course. I'm going to take it. Then, of course, his ammo, fragmentation grenade, stim pack, the stealth boy he used. And then, yeah, a bunch more cybernetic uh, stuff. And his outfit. Let's take all of that. Yeah, he's now a headless corpse. And nothing else, because he was a bit of a bastard. But we did it. Um, the boulder clap mine and the mines really did his job, because he lost two-thirds of his health. But that gives you an indication of how much health he actually has to start with. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye, Kellogg. So, healing that off with a rat scorpion stake. I think there was another synth around here. It kind of blew up, but uh, yeah, that was all our mines. Let's take all of that, and then let's check out the terminal really quickly. There's a recorder, actually. No, I don't think I can do anything with that, but the terminal. And then one more note, the boy, Sean, successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received, new orders to track down Renegade, gathered in reinforcements, cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. So there we go. And that opens up the door, because that's the hallway we've been through before. So that kind of loops back to uh, where we were. And then we have auto caps, rounds and really crap otherwise. So uh, that's it, that's Fort Hagen. And that actually concludes, well, kind of concludes act one of the main quest of Fallout 4. Because uh, there's a really, really nice conclusion to this, which we'll see in a second when we head outside. We can open up the door. Also, don't forget to uh, disable the turrets. So deactivating those. And then the, the fancy music already started. But if we go outside, there's the Pritwin. And we are buddies with them. So yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel has arrived in full force. So the Pridwin is here. That's the name of that giant, giant uh, Zeppelin over there. Uh, and it's carrying a lot, of, uh, a lot of forces back to the Commonwealth. So now Dance and uh, his little band of uh, knights isn't alone anymore. So Shadow of Steel has started. Listen to military frequency AF95. But uh, yeah, I think this is a nice place to end this episode. Because um, we cleared out Fort Hagen, we killed Kellogg. We know where Sean is, he's in the Institute. So now we need to find out how we can get access to the Institute. So that's the next bit of the main quest. So getting access to the Institute. And I have a feeling that the Brotherhood might be able to help us with that. So next time we'll be heading up the Pridwin. Because of course we are big, big pals with the, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. So we're going to head back to Downs and uh, try to get on board of the Pridwin. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, as I said, when we get back, we'll be heading towards the Pridwins. Thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you next time on uh, Fallout 4, the Gunless playthrough. Goodbye.